I managed to get a pair of Jordan 1 Crofts and the reason why I got this, I did see the reviews sort of last year and sort of going on about the quality of the, the leather and that definitely doesn't disappoint. It feels really nice and it feels a lot like the Jordan 1 Unions that released last year as well. So, and that pair had similar sort of leather as well and it got kind of the yellow lining around the, the leather. So I'm not sure whether that sort of implies better quality leather or whether that's just a finish. But it does kind of, I've seen that on a lot of sneakers where they're, if they're more sort of premium, they would kind of have this sort of finish. So I imagine it is. And then when you kind of sort of feel around the, the, sh the sh trainer itself, it does feel kind of nice and sort of soft. And obviously the toe box more so, but it just feels really nice. I think the only thing that I don't like is probably why most people are put off by it, is this material, it's, it's kind of rough. It's not really cork. But it almost feels like velcro so it's got kind of this really sort of rough texture i don't think it'll cause a problem when you're wearing it but it's just something that it's not really expected and for this particular trainer like the jordan ones in general i know that the craft series use sort of different materials and try to sort of incorporate that and i actually kind of do like the colorway for this as well i know it's just a simple colorway but it gives it sort of a more of a sort of sophisticated look in my opinion and the sort of pale vanilla, almost sort of cream color uh, leather and the kind of little lacy laces and the, the in inlining for the sock liner as well, just the color of that just kind of makes it, just makes it more sophisticated in my opinion. And I kind of just like the, the look of the shoe in general. Like I said, I could do without this material here in the swoosh and, and the ankle collar but overall it's still a cool shoe and like I said because the leather's nice it's I'm kind of a bit like maybe I should keep them but it was also very similar in terms of the Jordan 1 Stealth which also had really nice quality leather and the sock lining for that one is just amazing because it's just really soft and smooth but yeah definitely worth checking out if you can pick them up cheap Here is the details for the Air Jordan 1 High OG Craft. It comes in a sale pale vanilla and black colorway. I'm not sure where the black is, but it did state black on the box. And it has a EVA cop sole with an airbag unit in the heel. And it's a predominantly all leather construction. And the price was £190. So the comfort and sizing, I think these have a medium to firm sole, so they fit very much like any other Jordan 1. And for that reason, because of the fact that it's got a sort of flat sole and it's quite sort of on the firm side, it can get sort of fatiguing after a while. And it's more of a neutral uh, trainer, so there isn't much support around the art, so don't expect it to be like a runner, so it's where it's giving you a lot of support. It's very flat, but sometimes that's also nice to, to kind of wear. And the wearing time for these is like around the sort of I say six to eight hours. The reason I say six to eight for this particular pair is just that the leather is more of a premium quality, so it just feels like it will be softer a lot quicker. And I would recommend sort of for wide footers to go up half size. In my, it, it, that's kind of what I normally do on, on Jordan ones. I normally go up half size. I just like that sort of extra room. And like any other Jordan 1 with the radial pattern it has really good traction for all weathers and that's probably the reason why they're popular with, with regards to the look and style they have sort of the what I would call the OG uh, neutral grey colour blocking so where you see the kind of velcro-ish type of material in sort of brown that's more what the OG neutral grey colour blocking would be so that's the solution around the ankle collar and you can kind of wear these sort of spring, autumn, winter. The reason sort of I say autumn, winter is it is a predominantly leather sneaker and also the kind of brown elements on there and the, the sort of slightly more sort of vanilla hints will kind of lend itself well to kind of those types of weather. And you can kind of wear these uh, casual, smart casual. This is kind of more of a, this I think is more of a sophisticated pair. So they can be worn sort of more smarter and they kind of just look slightly more elevated and look very similar to 
a Union Jordan 1 Summer of 96 pair. And you can go with sort of brown laces in this. It comes with sort of this sort of pale vanilla sail type lace in there, in there already. And white laces would also work. With regards to the pros, I think it has a, a plush leather. So in that respect, the, the leather on this is really, really nice. I don't know if it's like premium quality, but it does feel really, really soft to the touch. And uh, like I said, it's similar to the Jordan 1 Union pair. And you, you can't go wrong with the, the leather itself, especially if you can find them on sale. And it has a sort of sophisticated look. And I, I really like the way the sneaker looks it's sort of simplistic. But also because it's got those vanilla sort of hits around the sneaker and then also because the leather is of a better material i think it kind of has the sort of yellow color around the the edges and the cons i think the cost so the cost on this was really high so i think they retailed us at 160 130 pounds and the if i if i'm honest i, I could do without the ankle collar material and the swoosh reason being it has this sort of rough velcro type texture to it so from that respect i think they probably would have been better just having a the nice leather that they put on there but it just being kind of in a dark brown color sometimes less is more and I, like with the ratings i give the look and style a four out of five i think the union pair is looking a lot nicer and but this is a good one to get if you can find it on sale and the comfort is like any other Jordan 1, so I'm not going to sort of touch on that too much. I think it's pretty much standard stuff, very similar to a Nike Dunk. And probably slightly better. And the quality on this one, I think, you, it's not using like premium, premium leathers, but the leather is very nice on this pair, so I'd give that a 5. And the pricing, again, the Jordan's just priced too high, so I'd give that a 3. But overall, I think this is a solid sneaker. I think it's a 4 out of 5. I think if you don't have a kind of neutral grey type pair, and you're kind of in the market for one and you want something with really nice leathers and just looking more sophisticated then this is a good good pair to get especially like for half price if you can find them